Excel's printing capability is quite extensive and there are lots of options. It can be a little confusing at times, however, because we're going to be seeing similar terms located at different parts of the screen and certain features that you can get to in a variety of different ways. If you've never printed before, first thought might be, well, I've heard about print file tab, right? File, print, sounds right. Well, you get a print preview and that's good. You might be a little surprised as you look at the bottom of the screen, and you should always do this, 52 pages, that seems like a lot. You can scroll up and down the list if you wish. Sometimes if it's large, it might take a while to get through this, but what could surprise you in this case here is, looks as if Excel's gonna pick up maybe the left side of the screen, then the right side, and this is still going on. It's only like halfway through here, 25 pages. Where are we here, 30 pages? Excel is trying to print everything. He probably didn't mean that. Let's escape from here. I'm gonna to scroll to the right and point out that this worksheet has data way off to the right. Excel assumes you want to print everything unless you indicate otherwise. So we could approach this a little bit differently. Why don't we highlight the data we're interested in? Maybe we only wanna print the data from column J leftward. We could click across this way, highlight that, and use what's called the page layout tab in the ribbon. There's some other printing choices here too. How about print area, set print area? Then we could go into print preview. Another quick way to get to print preview, keystroke shortcut, control P. Here we are, you'll see this button to the right, show print preview. Now it says 34 pages. It looks like we're on the right path here. Again, kind of scrolling quickly through this, we get a sense of, we see the left side of our data, then the right side. It, it didn't go pick up anything to the right of that, so we're looking better there. What might we do next? Escape from here, is hide some columns that we don't really need in our printout. Maybe we don't need this information, this information here. Maybe not this one either. Now, sometimes, of course, you will want this, but certainly one thought at times, let's hide these columns. Print preview again, control P, show print preview, 17 pages. That sounds about right for now. But how about those headings? That says printing. That's the name of the file that we're looking at. Let's escape from here. Our file name is 06 printing. We're on this page layout sheet. So Excel's showing us stuff that we don't necessarily want on this printout that we're about to make. In the lower right-hand corner of the screen, in this area below the sheet tabs, it's called the status bar. You might see statistics here if cells have been highlighted, but off to the right are three buttons. Normal view is what most of us use most of the time, but the next button over is called page layout. That's the same name we see at the top of the screen in a tab. Page layout, now I've got an image of the sheets here. If you click here, suddenly we see something kind of cryptic. What's going on here? On the design tab up above, notice we've got a contextual tab here. We could be printing the file name, the sheet name, but maybe we don't want to. Take that out. Maybe we want the date, left side, right side. We've got three different sections here. And by using some of the features up above, date, time, whatever, we can insert some automatic entries. Now, if you put in current date, there too, it looks a bit strange at first. On the right, I'll put in the current time. There's another button up there for time. But to see what these are gonna look like, just click below it, down in the data. It's gonna look like that. Maybe that's what we want. So let's do a control P again, see how that's looking. Show print preview, and we see the times there, dates. You'll come to realize that when you print, there's a lot of back and forth. And if you're gonna be working with this workbook and worksheet a lot, most of the printing adjustments are done up front. You don't have to constantly redo this next time you print. So one other option here too that we want to consider, scrolling up and down, we're on page two, page three, what happened to the heading? Well, it's only on page one. Once again, let's escape from here. And now we're going back to the top of the screen, page layout, the page layout tab from up here. Print titles, you'd want to do that. Rows to repeat at top, click in here. And in the background, we can click row one. Now, if we were on normal view, we'd be clicking in the same relative space. Right now we're in page layout view in the background. Print preview is the button right here. Click it. There's page one. I'm using the mouse wheel to roll. There's page two, page three, etc. So, and there's some other features off to the left that we didn't use. A lot of you are familiar with the term portrait and landscape. Landscape would not be a good choice here, but watch the screen. And now we see the data that way. At other times, of course, you'll reverse it. So not a good choice here. We go back to the other option, portrait. So at different times, you'll be making some adjustments over here. At some point, we will print. So different approaches to printing, starting perhaps with the page layout tab and also in the lower right-hand corner of the page layout view. And in the next movie, you'll see some other approaches to printing that begin with different commands and printing features.